All right, folks, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a uh, front fan in your AeroCool case. And uh, I believe this will take up to three of them. Uh, we're only going to install one because, unfortunately, I don't have a bunch of spare ones uh, at the moment. But uh, I'll show you how to open the case, how to install it, and uh, two options for connectors that you may see. So here's what we're going to need. Um, this is a 120 millimeter fan. It probably is the only size that will actually fit. And you're going to need a uh, Phillips head screwdriver. You could probably get away with a number one or a number two. And of course the screws that should have came with your fan. Now this is kind of a uh, ugly green fan. That, uh, when it lights up, uh, the LEDs will uh, turn it green. But uh, this is the best example I could get for you guys right now. So. Let's go ahead and set the camera up so you can see me open the case. All right, so um, I've already removed the uh, acrylic left-hand access panel. Um, pretty simple to do. You will uh, unscrew it in these two places and remove it. We do need to remove uh, the right-hand access panel. So you can, if you don't have these on here tight, you can screw them off with your fingers. Mine are on a little tight, so we're going to use the old screwdriver. And put those aside. Now, this will pop off. Now, um, to get the front off, I'm basically going to put it on its uh, back end. And... Then all we have to do is reach around here. There's a uh, hole here that you can put your finger in, and then you're just going to pop it off, okay? Now this has this has cables here, so you do not want to uh, just drop this thing, okay? You could do some damage to it. So from this point, to be honest with you, I would go ahead and uh, put it on its side, all right, so that there's no stress on the cables. And that opens this up, which uh, really, you know, is, is pretty easy to get to now. So let's, uh, let's set up the camera again so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so our fan has an uh, intake side and an exhaust side. So the easiest way to tell, uh, the side that has the spindles for support, that's your exhaust side, and this is your intake side. So it does appear you could get uh, three fans in here, and uh, you want uh, cool air to come in this way. This fan, this case really is poorly designed for cool air to come in, but uh, you'll want this side uh, facing out. So basically you've got three spots you can stick this in here, here, and then up top, okay? Even though this cable is kind of in the way. I um, wish you guys didn't see that. This cable um, that comes from the front is a little bit in the way, so we're just going to put one right in the middle. And all I'm going to do is uh, line this guy up, and I may uh, I may be able to drive this in a little bit with my finger. Yeah, there we go. So now I can come in with my screwdriver. And start tightening. I just want to get a few threads on there and then I'm gonna um, add the other ones so that I know I can at least get it started. Now one thing that's kind of important that I didn't discuss is which direction your uh, cable goes okay so this cable is nice and long and I'm having it leave um, or exit the fan uh, towards the bottom so we have the ability to run this around on the right hand access area um, and then plug it into either the motherboard or the power supply. So I'll show you both of those. There's other ways to do this. There's um, I don't know that there's a perfect way every time but you know, it depends on the fan you buy. It depends on how your case is too. If you um, 
if your case is like this one where it's got a clear clear face to it you're gonna want to run all your cables through the uh, right hand access panel area because that will hide them now this case is kind of a working man's case so I didn't I didn't spend all day you know cleaning up the cables um, because it's just you know if you watch the channel I make a lot of bench benchmark videos and I do occasionally sell a computer here or there but um, for the most part these are working computers and uh, sometimes I don't really care to make them look you know like a showpiece now some of the computers you see on the channel we do care alright so tighten that down and tighten this last one down and these take a you know a little bit of force compared to a uh, screw that's going into uh, steel um, it's a little more resistance all right so normally I would wait to cover this up but I know it's gonna work so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it back on um, and we gotta line those holes up now you wanna feel under here to make sure those wires are not getting pinched and then press it down and it's back in place okay so let's uh, take a look over here on this side all right, so this case has this nice big hole here. We're gonna feed our connector through it. And now if I wanted to connect this to the uh, motherboard, let's do that one first. There's a, there's a fan header right here if you can see it. So I would come in and I would feed this back through here. And of course the GPU cable's in the way. I would feed that in and then uh, basically plug it in right there. Now it's easier to do this without holding the camera. Alright, so I may have missed that, but um, let's do it again. So we plug that in right there. And amazingly, when I didn't get it on film, there we go. So that's, that's in. Hopefully you guys saw that. One more time, just in case. So that goes in right there, okay? Just like that. All right, so that's one way of uh, getting this going. The other way is to uh, co connect it to a Molex. So um, we're gonna push this back through the hole. And I'm gonna move this around. All right, so um, this comes off of our power supply, okay? Usually you'll see, uh, you know, maybe a combination of a SATA power Molex, okay. This has two Molexes on it, and you can, uh, you know, figure out which one's going to work best for you. I'm going to go ahead and try and get it in here. Now, sometimes these are pain in the ass to to get uh, attached, but you saw that actually went in there pretty easy, okay. So that's in. Now, if I fire this up, we should have a, a working fan. All right. So the moment of truth. We'll hit the power button, and voila, there's our fan, okay. So uh, if we reach in there, there's actually some cool air coming out of there. Now, if you put three fans in here, um, there is enough of a cavity behind this that uh, there will be some cool air that comes in, and it's mainly uh, down at the bottom. So that's kind of an annoying thing about this case. It doesn't have a lot of uh, area for air to come into. So. Uh, and if you happen to block that, then you're not going to get nice cool air from your room in. But yeah, it's it's working. So there you go, folks. That's how you install a fan in the AeroCool case. Thanks for checking out.